turned down Hanson. We're listening to the Hanson Snowden album for our way to Black Friday, and there's literally nothing better that you can listen to, in my opinion. Have you heard it? Please tell me. It, okay, I mean, there's no spoilers. It came out in 97. It's fabulous. I'm listening to Little Saint Nick. Such a bop. Anyway, going to pick up Sierra. We are headed to the Diamond Mall. We're going to meet Lindsay, our friend Lindsay there. If you've seen the channel, you've probably seen her and Sierra before. And then we are going to shop until we drop, which may not be very long because it's five in the morning. So let's do this. It's Lindsay and Sierra. It is 6 a.m. We are at an extremely busy mall right now, y'all. How are we going to get in? We're going to have to wait to get in, <laughs> into Ulta. <laughs> We're going to head into Ulta first. We, you know what? I like this type of crowd. I know, that's why I was like, this is good. It'll be packed. This is great. I think this will be packed at eight. Probably. I would love a bag. Thank you for the door busters. Two of my first items have been acquired. I don't know if it's the way that this Ulta is set up, but it just seems like there's a little bit less deals, or maybe you have to look for them a little bit more. Whereas last year, I don't know if you have seen last year's Black Friday vlog, but we, like immediately when we walked in, there was just like so many sales right off the bat. And now I feel like you have to go to like each section and kind of like look for Kind of exactly what you're looking for rather than like sales being right in your face. I found some good stuff though, so not terrible. And the mall just opened and there's no paper towels and no soap. So thank goodness our next stop is Bath and Body Works. If your man's hasn't got on this, get on this bandwagon. They have the best smelling men stuff. Jesse really likes the ocean one, and then I also really like this one, a graphite, but I'm afraid that they may be kind of, they've minimized how much they have of this one, so I'm afraid it might be going away. Um, but those two scents are super nice. And then it looks like they've added like quite a bit. They've got like body sprays, and they also have like fragrant, like actual fragrances too. Um, interesting. I might get him an actual fragrance. Why does this always happen? Like, every time. Oh, I wish I needed this. Look how beautiful this bag is. I have so many tote bags, it's insane. But isn't that beautiful? And it comes with all of this. Oh my gosh, look at the color of that. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a really nice light scent. And it comes with... A candle, foaming soap, body wash, mist, and body lotion for $40. Oh, look at the nutcracker. The little Santa train. Oh, these are so cute. They have so many different things that are like the, from their lip collection, and they also have a chapstick. Have you guys ever tried this? I'm so curious. It looks like good quality stuff, but I don't know. Load number one. <laughs> Round two, going to the calendar store. Heading into Go Calendars, Games, and Toys. I don't know if this is a national chain, but they do have some fun stuff here. Ooh, look, they have a Wish display. Have you guys seen Wish yet? I'm hopefully gonna go this weekend. Oh, that's a cute puzzle. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, that's so neat. It's almost like a advent calendar. 
16 month calendar with two bonus posters. Oh, that's so cool. Look how beautiful those posters are. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Oh, look guys. One of my favorite artists. She's also featured in a lot of Disney. She's made a lot of Disney art that I really love. I just love how everything looks like kind of like a like creepy doll. That's so cool. I didn't know she made calendars. What you got there? We got ghost stories. What do we got? This one's for me. This one's obviously for me. I think my dad would like this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Headlines in history. And then they have a Harry Potter one for a co worker. Oh, cool. And then they have a Disney one, too. Ooh. These are such good gifts. These are just easy. Yeah, yeah they are easy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The new 2024 Thomas Kincaid. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm getting this one. Thanks, really cool. It's like Art Deco. <gasps> Whoa! That is so neat. Oh, damn. I mean, honestly, I like this one better, but I, I mean. This one has all of them, you know, but I like that. Yeah, I like how stylized this one is. I want to do that one instead of. Okay, I'm going to get this one for work and this one for my craft room. This is so fun. So there's a window art mosaic. So it's got the hundredth and it's all the stamps. And I really loved how they did the little stamp collection. Then we've got Toy Story, Encanto, Princesses, Frozen, and the, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Elite Eight. Okay, goodbye, Sierra. See you later. She's going to Starbucks. Bye, Sierra. Bye. Okay, love you. We're going into box lunch. Okay, if it opens. Okay, bye. Breeze is here and is working. She just came and visited us at the window to say hello. She's very excited that we are going to be the first to open box lunch today. Do you want to give us a Starbucks haul? Uh, yeah, so. Sugar cookie, almond milk. Oh, that is that I am. That is hands down the best Christmas drink that Starbucks has. And a turkey bacon sandwich. Hell yeah, that's how you start Black Friday. We decided to pop a squat in front of Box Lunch because when in Rome, Teresa's inside. Teresa's the awesome manager here at Box Lunch Anchorage. She's the absolute best. She's like the sweetest person ever. Also a huge Disney fan. And we're just gonna patiently wait outside. We've got a few more minutes left, about eight minutes. Um, it opens at 8 a.m. So we are so excited. It's 50% off. I'm sorry, buy one, get one 50% off. And I think that they're having some extra clearance uh, sale going on today too. I'm really hoping to get that pink lounge fly. That's the Minnie Mouse. I don't know if they sell it at Box Lunch, but that was the lounge fly that I was really hoping to get today. So fingers crossed. Because that bag needs to be bedazzled. Also, are you guys shopping for Black Friday? I know that a lot of you, I had a bunch of you on Instagram tell me that you are doing the online version of Black Friday shopping uh, because there's a ton of stores that have been doing Black Friday online, which is really nice, so you don't have to physically go to the store. I just love tradition, so I feel like it's just really fun to go and like look at deals and like walk around the stores and do all that. So, do a, Lindsay likes the door bus. Do <laughs> Black Friday! <laughs> right as we walk in. Can we talk about this stitch? <laughs> it's the, this is seriously the cutest little cookie jar. And then Santa stitch and stitch bubble bath. Oh my God, it's Baymax. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so, he's got a little tummy. This is adorable. Um, that is adorable. How much is that? $49. They have the poster art book, the second edition. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Jingle Bell Jamboree. Oh my gosh, 1955, 83, and 2005. Oh, it's so cool. Look how cute this little, they have a piano cheese board with tools and it looks like an actual piano and then you lift up the top and all the tools are inside. It's so cute and I love this 100 Years of Music and Wonder. I think it's such a cool, collection with all different types of characters and things so cute out to her universe look how adorable this shirt is now it is shorter than i wanted it to be so i'm not getting it but oh my gosh look at olaf in all of the different princesses and then they also have a bag is this the cutest gosh i wish they had this in, um, in the t-shirt in a size that would work for me, like a length that would work for me. Oh, it's so cute. What a stunning design of this Beauty and the Beast bag. Wow. Hot Topic didn't have much for me, which is okay. Um, I was looking for lots of Disney stuff and it seems like as of lately, their Disney section has gotten smaller and smaller in our hot topic which makes me very sad but they did have 50 percent off um buy one get 150 similar to the box lunch and i did find one thing that i'm really excited to show you guys i'll show you guys in the haul portion um but i've got a special disney bound coming up and i can't wait to wear this it's the cutest this. little diner called little dipper diner This year we're actually eating. I don't know if you remember last year, but so bad. Sierra and I almost died. <laughs> we, I think we vlogged that part where we were just like almost laying down in the Diamond Mall eating Auntie Anne's. It was really embarrassing. But we made it to the Little Dipper Diner, and this is like the cutest diner ever. Themed, so we have like a little Alaska placemat and everything is like traditional diner food i'm thinking i might get some biscuits and gravy that looks amazing i've only been here one time the feast that we are about to feast Look, the, the biscuits and gravy it comes with a slab of bacon but i'm gonna get some extra bacon because that's how i roll we've got a pancake philly cheesesteak omelet that looks amazing Marbled rye bread. Lens. Eggs and bakey. Eggs and bakey, babies. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Guys, it's me, Lindsay. I got some pins. Look at these pins. They're 30th you, anniversary. How do you usually do this? Uh huh, just like that. Yes, put your. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, hand in front of the face. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's scary, Ted. Oh my gosh, let's look at That's Scary Ted. That's a win. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this pin. <gasps> it's stained glass. Oh, that's a gorgeous pin. Oh my gosh, I love him. So cute. All right. Well, that was a score. You're a cutie. Next up. Are they all stained glass? You got all stained glass ones? Yeah. Those are super right. neat. Were they on sale? It's buy one, get one, half off. Mm. Any guesses? Sally. Yes, was right. Yes, right. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, these pins. Oh, she's holding a little flower. Stunning. I'm gonna guess Jack. Back to Jack. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Man, I'm good at guessing. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look, his little hand is on his heart in the purple. Okay, guesses. Zero. Okay. Oh my god, Jesse. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. That's good. Man, I've guessed the last three. I'm killing it. So cute. Oh my gosh, that one is so cool. So I need zero in the middle. Wow. 
These are beautiful. How much were these? Um, these were $9.90. Nine ninety but each, and then one yeah. Five. Wow, that was awesome. Man, I should have just gotten six because I've gotten one for each right. One. I wonder if they like happen to be in order. I don't know. I always feel that way, and then I get them, and then it's never like that. Yeah. So it, that was These a good. That was a good pull, though. You didn't have any duplicates. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share below. <laughs> I made it into Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer is basically just like a nice grocery store that also has like your typical. It's like a kind of like a Walmart, I guess, is how I would describe it. They're like a super center that has everything. I've made it to the cold and flu section. <laughs> Because as you can probably hear, I'm a bit congested, so I am actually going to get some Dayquil. This is my, oh look, it's on sale, Black Friday, $3 off, we'll take it. I actually did want to come here though, because all of the artwork and home decor is 50% off. So I'm going to go meet them in just a second to see kind of what they have found, if they have found anything. Oh, these are super cute little throws. They're $5.99. That would be a cute little, like not even stocking stuffer, but something to give as a gift. Look at this wall art that Lindsay found. How much is it? $20. It's so pretty, I love the blue. And then this also is so cool, check this out. Oh, it's like stained glass. That's beautiful. Okay, we've got a little kitchen latte art, so the sloth. The kitty, and then look at this alpaca or llama. <laughs> these are so adorable. We've got some energy drink. I also have these really neat wall decor, circle cork boards for a special project that's going to be going up on the main channel for Christmas. I can't wait to show you guys that I think you guys are really going to love. And then, of course, my doorbuster deal. Take well. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along just singing a song. We've entered a time warp of some sort. It's noon. Not sure how that happened, but we had to park really far away. We're at Takat New Commons. This is typically where we start, um, but we decided to come a little bit later this time because we wanted to go to the Diamond Mall. And Lindsay's actually at the Target, which is over there, but we had to park this far away because there's just no parking spots. And the main reason why is because we have snow on the ground and you can't see the lines, so it's just parking is just an absolute mess. So we made up a parking spot and we're gonna stand behind that. I'm in love with these purse straps. I think they're so amazing, but look how short they are. Okay, here's Lindsay doing an example for us. <laughs> There we go, yes. Okay, oh wow. And there's another purse strap that's- More like a wristlet. Little wristlet. It's but it's so pretty. But it's just not gonna work. Nope. No. Okay, Sugar Fix is a little bit picked over, but look how cute the little mugs are. We have Santa, and then Lindsay's looking at these necklaces. There's a Christmas tree and then a Sandy Claus. I like this. That's so cute. So these are all 30% um, off. I wish I had a reason to wear these. These are so cute. Um, we found the best holiday sweaters ever. I'm getting bonjour because why not? Sierra's getting chow chow, right? Yeah. And then Lindsay's getting a more. I'm on the fence about this warm fuzzies because it's so cute. And fuzzy. Oh my gosh, yes. 
That is so cute. I love do that. Do I look like a warm hug? <laughs> Hell yeah, you do, girl. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> I tricked you into hugging. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough. We did some damage at Target. <laughs> So much damage. Yay. So much damage. Actually, I think the boys. The boys. Did. The boys got the best part of Target because they had a ton of Goodfellow brand shirts, and the boys love those. So we got that. We're headed into Kohl's. We are exhausted, to be honest with you. Thank God Sierra got us some waters at the Starbucks because <laughs> we are we're fading. It's 1:30 p.m. It's been almost a full eight hour business day. Yeah, this is like work. It is, it is like work. Just walking through the Sephora, it seems like they've got a lot of sales, but they're just like not very specific, right? Like 50% off select products. Okay, do you know which ones? But they don't list, but then they also have them like in front of certain things. So maybe that's the select product. Oh, those are cute. We're officially physically sore oh from gosh. shopping. I think, oh my gosh. Is a cutting board? <gasps> that is adorable. Yeah. Okay, 25. And then is it 50% off? No, that's what it is. Oh, okay. That's what the 50. My gosh, this is so cute too. Oh yeah. They've got a cute little section. Baby. Is this supposed to be Groot? I don't know. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it is supposed to be Groot. <laughs> That's the worst looking Groot I've ever seen. Whoa! This chapel is real festive inside. <laughs> These are fun. Hi, Jelly. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> bright lights. <huh? laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek into Black Friday, the little Black Friday vlog. It is time for a massive haul and I'm gonna try to do this fairly quickly. Starting with Ulta. And at Ulta, I got a couple of things. Some of them were not on sale, by the way. <laughs> so we'll start with the two things that weren't on sale. So I love Ariana Grande's perfume, absolutely love it. They had this sample pack that has six fragrances and they are all of Ariana Grande's different fragrances for $50. Now, I recently bought Pink Cloud, which is not my favorite. My most favorite is Regular Cloud cloud that she has that's the blue bottle and that single travel size was $26 so I'm very excited to be able to have this these are travel sizes anyway but also it allows me to be able to kind of sample her different fragrances without having to commit to buying them which is very nice and so I'll do a little close-up of what the packaging looks like but it looks like we have Mod Vanilla, Thank You Next, God is a Woman, Sweet Like Candy, REM, and Mod Blush. So I already have Cloud and Pink Cloud. So these are basically all of her other fragrances outside of the two fragrances that I have which is really nice to be able to have all of that. And considering how much the sample size was, I do think it is a good deal, although it was a little bit pricey for all of these guys. Now, next I have this lip oil by NYX. It is another one that is not on sale, it was $9. I have recently fallen in love with this NYX fat oil, I think it's called fat lip drip oil. And 
I got two of these that I ordered and they are so amazing. They are so very moisturizing on your lips and they stay for a really long time for lip gloss, which is very nice. And I believe that these are a YSL dupe, which is really interesting. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for a good lip gloss, this one is amazing. I was looking for a maroon color of lip and I love a long wear lipstick. It's my preference to have long wear lipstick. And so this is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. And I do like this type. And this was on sale for 30% off. So this was $8.69. And this is in color Royal. And just so you know, this lip oil is in color Supermodel. This is my favorite concealer. It's from CoverGirl. I use the color Classic Ivory, $8.39, marked down from $11.99. So another 30% off item. Their nail polish was 40% off, and I thought that this was a really fun one. I do like the Instant Dry from Sally Hansen. And so this one was $4.79 with the discount, which I thought was pretty good. Perfect for like a New Year's look, which I thought would be great for that. Now this was $4 off. I love ColourPop. I love their taupe palette. I try to get a taupe palette every year for uh, work because these are just like the perfect shades for work. Let me show you. Taupe looks really, really good on my skin tone as well. So here is what it looks like on the inside of that little palette. Also, what I love about this size of palette, it is so perfect for traveling. Like it is the perfect size. This was originally $14 and oh, I'm sorry, it was $5 off. And now it was nine for Black Friday, which I love. So I'm a big ColourPop girl. Are you ColourPop? Do you love ColourPop? I love their palettes. That was all from Ulta. So we're gonna move on to Burlington. So I got two things at Burlington and I don't even think we vlogged at Burlington, but the reason why is because they had zero sales. No sales whatsoever. They're just like, we're Burlington, we're discount. That's what you get. So I got these super duper cute socks they are $3.99 and what I love is they have like this scalloped edge but look how cute little Santa Mickey is and then the center one says Merry Christmas and it's got Mickey Santa and then a little green one that has Mickey Santa but for $3.99 for three pairs of super cute socks I was happy about it and then I could not believe that they had this I'd never seen this before and I go to Burlington often and if you've seen my Instagram and TikTok you probably know that because I always like to show what they have because they get a lot of good stuff in this was five dollars and 99 cents it was originally 24.99 in the parks check this out it is a Hercules coin purse featuring a Pegasus how cool is that and then here it is it's got like cards that you like card holder in the back just a regular plain like taupe inside but isn't that like the cutest little thing i love it next store is calendars or go calendars go cal go calendars and games something along those lines i don't even remember what it's called it's the calendar and game store I ended up getting the Alice in Wonderland. This one was just so cool. It's like so stylized. There are the different months that you can get. They were buy one, get one 50% off. And I don't recall how much these were and I don't believe I have the receipt. Um, this one was $15.99. So probably around the same for the other one. So it was probably around 20, 20 some dollars that I spent, $23. But here's the new Thomas Kincaid. They have so many amazing new um, images. And I was so excited to see, first of all, the Alice in Wonderland is such a cool one. I've never seen that one before. And they have a new Little Mermaid, and this is for the month of August, but it's Ariel and Eric during their wedding, and then all of the, um, it's got the boat in the background, King Triton, Daddy, and all of his daughters. Such a cool image. I am just in love with this new calendar. I, it's been quite a while, I feel, since Thomas Kincaid has gotten newer designs and this 
was awesome. I would highly suggest getting this calendar. Basically every single painting in this is of the newer versions. So definitely check that out. That is a really good calendar. We went to Hot Topic and I got a, uh, they had buy one get one free for like the entire store. And so I ended up choosing this really fun earring set and mainly it's because look at how cute these little seashells are at the bottom the little purple ones that have the pearls in them i thought they were so cute and then we also have the seashells here this was nine dollars and 90 cents for the entire set but it was super duper cute and then i also fell in love with this little wishing star from wish they had this it's like a makeup holder however i think i'm going to use it as a purse and on the inside it's got so much room um it's definitely a makeup bag like there's no like interior zip pocket or anything along those lines but it's so very cute $22.90 and I can easily just clip a little wristlet on to the zipper portion. Have you seen Wish? We are going this weekend for my birthday and I'm really excited to see it. I heard that it was really good and actually I saw someone post an entire blog post online about how they preferred Wish over Encanto, which I thought was very, very interesting. I'd love to know what you think down in the comments down below. But we have the little wishing star and earrings from Hot Topic. Next is Box Lunch. I got a ton of stuff at Box Lunch. Everything was buy one, get one 50% off. We're starting with the Marvel Tarot deck. So they have a new tarot deck there, if you don't know. I love reading um, tarot. It's one of my favorite things to do. We do it often at my house with all of my friends. We um, have never seen this deck before. This is brand new for us. And it says, look into the future with the lavishly illustrated tarot deck and guidebook featuring newly commissioned artwork of the Marvel comic canon. Now, what's really cool is they have a ton of different tarot decks that you can get at Box Lunch, and they have really amazing artwork, like the most beautiful artwork. And the cards are really good quality too. This was $25. Now, remember, everything's buy one, get one 50% off. Oh, and Teresa, the manager, at our box lunch she gave us this the happy birthday mickey and minnie button for 2023 because we were there right after mickey and minnie's birthday which is november 18th and so she gave us this as a little memento which was super cute so thank you Teresa, for that and i got three pins this first pin is so cute. It was $15.90 and it's got Sully and also it's got a little ice cream truck. So they have an entire Pixar series from her universe that features the Pixar character as well as some sort of ice cream truck that goes with them. Abominable. Ooh, that's hard to say. Snowman and it says, don't worry, it's lemon. <laughs> that's so cute. So I got that because I do have a nice Monsters Inc. collection. I got this. This 100th Little Mermaid pin for $10.90. I thought that was so pretty. I love that it looks, it looks almost like an old school movie poster. And then this pin, which is so very stylized, $10.90. Doesn't it look like a 1920s like art deco style? I think the area looks so beautiful in this pin. And this is also for the Disney 100. And then I got two lounge fly items because I really fell in love with the size of this bag. Isn't this so cute? So here it is, it's like a peppermint with mint and pink and red. And I think that those colors are just so fun for Christmas time and look how beautiful and sparkly this is. Also, I love the idea of it being a bit water resistant because the bags lately have been this really, really soft spongy material that gets so dirty. So I love that they're coming out with more durable bags that have water resistance because I want to be able to use my bag collection. I don't want it to just sit on a shelf and so I hope to be able to take this someday for Christmas time even though I just got back from Disneyland and then there is the 
um, strap. And the interior of the bag is super duper cute Christmas balls that happen to be Mickey and Minnie themed in the same colors as the outside of the bag, which is so adorable. Now, this bag was $59.90. And then I also got the matching card holder. I realized I did not have a card holder for the holiday season, which is not okay because I just used a plain card holder the last time I went to Disneyland, which was not okay. I like to have a theme but I do really like this style where you have the clip so you can clip your cards down and then your ID portion on the back of the wallet it's such a handy design and I love these designs from Loungefly this one was $19.90 and then I got two shirts. Now this one I've been obsessed lately, or maybe forever, with cars and Lightning McQueen. I got the Lightning McQueen Crocs, which I am so very excited about. And this is the cutest little crop sweatshirt. It's got Lightning McQueen on it and it says Lightning McQueen underneath it in embroidery. It's got 95 embroidered and then also a little lightning bolt on the collar itself. I thought this would be so cute to wear with leggings and my Lightning McQueen Crocs because it's a whole vibe and a whole outfit and I think it's adorable. And this one was $58.90. And then I saw a woman in Disneyland wearing this and I fell in love with this and I was like, oh, I know that that's from Box Lunch and it was. This one was $64.90. This is the cardigan for the Disney 100 and I love embroidery. Like I love to see embroidery on garments because it just washes so well and also holds up so well. So let's take a peek. We've got so many characters. We've got Stitch with his little ukulele. And then we've got Lilo at the bottom. We've got Dumbo on this side. Look how joyous Dumbo looks. So, so cute. And then there's some music notes. And then look at the back. It's got Mickey with a piano and he's the maestro. It's, or the band leader, whatever you would call him. Such a cute little cardigan. I can't wait to wear this. Definitely gonna wear this on casual Disney Friday. <laughs> we went to Bath and Body Works. It was three for three. So I got Jesse three graphite. So again, like I told you guys, I love their men's collection. This smells so very good. So we got three graphite body washes for him and also three ocean body washes for him because he loves their body wash. I also was a bit on the fence whether I should get him a cologne, but I decided to go ahead and do it. This is the holiday season and I know that he would like it. So Ocean is his favorite of the scents that's there. And so I saw it and went ahead and got him a fragrance. He doesn't wear a fragrance very often. And so this is gonna last him a really long time. So I thought, well, since they're having a really good deal, I might as well get it and just spend the money. I got six hand soaps because again three for three and I got the tis the season which is their holiday scent it's red apple ground cinnamon and clove very much smells like apple pie it smells so good one of my most favorite scents so I got this one for my bathroom and one for my kitchen Palo Santo okay so Palo Santo is one of my favorite scents so they have Palo Santo and sage I got again one for the bathroom one for the kitchen I like for everything to kind of match and so I usually get them in pairs anyway and then I also got this fragrance called balsam and bergamot I've never had this fragrance before but it smells very earthy and I know that my friend Jackie will like this so I was gonna put this in the spare bedroom bathroom because she is gonna be visiting very soon and I know that she will appreciate any sort of balsam scent and then I also got the bergamot and turmeric and this smells so good oh gosh that smells so delicious um bergamot scent is so lovely it's like man smell but not mm. I love it so much. So those are the six soaps that I got. And then I got six candles because when in Rome, right? So I got two of the Eucalyptus Mint. Eucalyptus Mint is their fragrance that they also call Stress Relief. And it smells so lovely. They used to have a bunch of Stress Relief like scented items. 
and now they have eucalyptus mint. So sometimes they have it in stock, sometimes they don't. Um, and then I got peach bellini. I thought it would be nice to have like a summery fun scent just in case I was getting tired of the winter and fall scents, which I'm not sure if I will, but I thought I would switch it up just in case. The color of this is so pretty. These are originally $26.95, just so you know. And then I got spiced apple toddy. So they're not selling leaves in my store right now, which leaves is my most favorite scent of all time. It's like a pumpkin and apple cinnamon scent. Oh, it smells so good though. And then this is a warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, and a cinnamon stick. And it smells very similar to leaves. It's a little bit more on the spicy side than leaves is. Um, but I decided to get two of these for the holiday season. I'm gonna be burning this during Christmas for sure. And then last but certainly not least, I ended up getting it guys. It is so unnecessary, but this is the $40 Black Friday bag that they got from Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works that they were having such a good deal on. So inside of this bag, which I love this puffer. Isn't this like the cutest puffer bag ever? What I wanna use this for is I am going to be purchasing ice skates. And so I thought that I could put my ice skates in their little bag and keep this in my car for when we go ice skating because I live in Alaska and like ice skating is something that we can easily do. And then it comes with this box of goodies and let's check out this box of goodies because it has everything you could ever need. Remember, this is a $40 bag for everything. So we got the cutest little socks with the penguin and the candy cane. <laughs> these were originally $8.95. We have, all of these are in the scent of Pure Wonder. And so we got the Pure Wonder fragrance and it's Iced Rosé, Star, Jasmine, and White Amber. Oh, it smells so lovely. It's like such a nice light scent. We got a full body wash of Pure Wonder. A full lotion of Pure Wonder. And a full hand soap, foaming hand soap, which we love, plus a full three wick candle. And how pretty is the color of this candle? This like baby pink, isn't that so gorge? And so that whole thing was $40, which by the way, this is $24.95, this is $7.95, $16.95, $16.95, and $18.95, plus, the $8.95 socks. I believe it was around $110 value for 40 bucks. Such a good deal. And man, that would have been such a great Christmas present. So you had to spend $40 in store in order to get it. And I don't know if there was any limit or anything, but that would have been like the perfect, perfect Christmas gift for someone. And last but certainly not least, we went and destroyed Target. And by destroyed Target, I mean I bought my husband a whole new wardrobe. So he loves the brand Goodfellow. It's a great brand. They have amazing men's clothing and he looks so great in them. It was all 30% off and he wears a size large. So we got him a long sleeve. Um, so most of these were around $13 with a discount. So what was crazy was they were 30% off. Then I got my extra 5% with Target Red and then I got $20 off of my purchase for Black Friday. So he got a long sleeved blue. This looks so good on him. I love this color. It's like a nice tan taupe color with the really nice like Carhartt color on the inside of the buttons. And it does have little pockets on the side. And then we have a blue long sleeve and a burnt orange long sleeve. My favorite pajama pants are from Stars Above. I wear an XL. They have these joggers. They are absolutely everything. These were also on a 30% off, so I think I got them for around $13. And they had this super adorable little jumpsuit that is wide leg, and I think it is so cute. 
and it's got little spaghetti straps and check out the back it's got like this industrial little zipper and this like really fun comfy elastic waistband this one was also 30 percent off and it was 30 dollars. this one was 20 bucks and I did get a second pair of pajama pants. And then they also had their sweaters on sale that had the little statements on them. So I did end up getting the Bonjour one. And this one was also on sale, I believe, for 30% off. These were not on sale, but I fell in love with them. These are the Christmas little Disney princess bag clips. And I ended up getting two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, 11 of them. So I will be doing a little video online to show you these. Obviously I really want Ariel. And so here are the ones that you can get on the back. I believe that these were $6.99 and I did get my 5% off for the red card, but I just really wanted those. So I splurged a little. I fell in love with these earrings. These were 30% off. They're from Sugar Fix, which Sugar Fix is uh, the cheaper version of Bobble Bar. And aren't these so cute? I thought they were like perfect for New Year's. I thought they were so cute. And then also check these out. Aren't these like perfect for flower and garden festival? Like these just kind of scream flower and garden to me. And so I had to get them as well, also 30% off. And so that really wraps up our Black Friday. What a whirlwind of shopping. I would love to know what you got for Black Friday or if there was anything that you really enjoyed from this particular haul that I showed you. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN. Bye.